dune geckos or elegant sand geckos or short finger sand gecko. I think they're amazing. And my favorite thing is you can cohab them. I mean, do your research how to do it, of course. But in general, there's very little aggression even possible. Males are fine with males, fine with females. Females are fine with females and males. It's really interesting because most of the time I would tell you to never cohab most reptiles. These guys are different and they're super tiny. So you could keep maybe a trio in a 10 gallon enclosure, which is unthinkable. I wouldn't even say to put one, say crested gecko or one leopard gecko in a 10 gallon enclosure. Meanwhile, you can keep a trio of these guys and you can even keep a bigger number than a trio if you have a big enough enclosure. What's really cool also that is kind of breaking the norm of most lizards that I talk about is if you wanna keep them on sand, washed play sand, you can. Very little risk of impaction because in the wild, they're actually found on loose sand, sand dunes, dune geckos. It all makes sense.